Hi, this is Sweet June coming back at you with another video. I'm hoping everybody is doing good. It's June 28th, 2021. Up here in Michigan, it's we've been getting tons and tons and tons of rain. The Detroit area is pretty badly flooded. Uh, they have some serious floods in Detroit. A lot of cars got stranded and stuck. We didn't have too much flooding up here um, uh, where I'm at, but Detroit, it's pretty bad, bad flooding in Detroit. It's a lot going on. Uh, but right now, it's just really, really humid outside. And, and boy, whew, everything acting up. My back, legs, Everything's acting up. So, just uh, chilling out in my chair. Um, I'm hoping everybody is, excuse me, I got my, uh, I'm hot. I'm, it's so humid, I'm so hot. So, if you excuse me, I'm wearing my beater. <laughs> my, my, um, pajama beater <laughs> but I want to talk about um, I know Boyce Watkins just got married um, if you guys are familiar with Boyce Watkins um, he talks a lot about um, he's a fine act uh, he has uh, um, he's big on finance uh, he's pro-black. He's always trying to encourage black people to um, have their own business and um, basically educating black people, always trying to empower black people. I really enjoy watching his content because um, it's very, if you sit down and really listen to his content, it's very educational and um, he has, I think, a master's in finance. Or he could, oh no, I think he has a doctor. Yeah, a doc, a doctorate. He calls himself Dr. Boyce Walker. So he has a doctorate in finance. So he educates you on black people on stocks and, you know, and just trying to educate black people and giving black people uh, financial literacy and always talking about, um, uh, things that we can do um, to um, be financially free, not necessarily rich, but financially free. Financially free meaning you're you're not punching a time clock. You you know you have your own business. Um, you're basically relying on yourself and God. You know, so not necessarily being rich, but just financially free. There's a difference between, you know. Financially free meaning you know you you're not a you're not a wage slave. You're not a wage slave. You're not punching someone's time clock because as long as you're working for somebody else, you are helping someone else gain wealth, and you're not gaining any wealth because they're only going to pay you so much money. So when you have your own business, you can make you know way more money if the business is lucrative if the business becomes very lucrative so he educates black people on owning more businesses you know having your own, our own businesses and um just trying to empower us and educate so i mean his content i like I enjoy watching his content because it's very educational he's very intelligent you can learn a lot from watching his content um, and a lot of times I like to watch content like that. I like to watch content where, you know, I can learn, actually learn something and gain some knowledge. I wouldn't mind having my own business one day. So it, it's a lot of things that I can learn from him, you know, and a lot of black, black people can learn from him. Well, with that being said. He just, he married, he just got married and he married um, a single mother. You know, I guess this is someone that he knew from college 
and they sort of like reconnected and when they reconnected I think she's got like three kids and I think he's got one or two kids of his own so kind of like a blended family type situation and um, I know you guys are probably saying where are you going with this June well the reason why I, I'm talking about Boyce Watkins and you know he married a single mother is because a lot of men are bashing him he's getting really bashed here on YouTube for marrying a single mother apparently the black the black manosphere here on YouTube uh, thinks that if you marry a single mom you're a simp you know you, you guys know if you listen to my content on a regular basis you know how I feel about that word simp I do not like it because it encourages men to disrespect black women and it 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 discourages the for black black women being treated with respect and love and kindness like a woman is supposed to be treated it discourages that but it, it encourages black women the mistreatment and the disrespect of black women and that's why I hate that term simp I hate it so if you guys watch me on a regular basis you know how I feel about that term simp I've expressed it many other times in many other videos I hate it um, it's used to degrade black women encourage disrespect of black women hatred of black women and I, I hate it I just hate that term you know because a man is always supposed to treat a woman with respect even if you're not trying to have no relationship with that woman it doesn't matter all women should be treated with respect it doesn't matter what race the woman is all women should be treated with respect even if that woman even if you don't feel like if that woman if you feel like that woman is doing certain things it doesn't matter all women should be treated with respect bottom line so this this term that they use simp to encourage the mistreatment of black women and discourage men from treating black women with love kindness and respect I hate that I hate it so that's what they call him they call him a simp because he married a single mom he had the audacity to marry a single mom so they think that he's being a simp and sucker or everything else that they want to call him because he married a single mother and, and she's a she's a educated just like he is she has an education she's very intelligent she's a beautiful lady she has a lot going for herself and she's a single mom well life happens and sometimes people become single mothers for whatever reason um, and sometimes men become single fathers for whatever reason life happens that's called life and life happens so what I'm where I'm going with this is that I'm, I'm say that it is nothing wrong with with marrying a single mom it's nothing wrong with being a stepdad what is wrong with being a stepdad it used to be back in the day men took a lot of pride uh, was proud to take care of a woman and assist her with his stepchildren yes men used to take pride in those kind of things back in the day but these type of men men unfortunately are not like they used to be and these newer generations of men coming up they think that it's just a horrible terrible thing to be a stepfather and I'm here to say that it's nothing wrong with being a stepfather I was listening to um, I was listening to because uh, I also like to watch a lot of uh, forums like forums people have um, uh, discussions about things that's going on in the black race and 
um, um, like like discussion panel pan, pan, uh, panel panels. I'm sorry, discussion panels. Can't get that word all right. Uh, where they're talking about the black race and the things that's going on in the black race, uh, uh, things that's going on, this gender war that's going on between black men and black women, you know, all different types of topics that uh, pretty much affect the black people and the black race. And um, I was watching this one, and this lady, this black lady made an excellent point she made an excellent point. She said that um, when they discourage men from marrying single moms, you know, our young black boys in, in need positive male role models in their life, whether it be a man, uh, no, black men in the community taking a vested interest in the, our young black males that don't have fathers, our fatherless young black males in, in the community. Uh, they're taking a vested interest in them and mentoring them and, you know, teaching them different things, teaching them, you know, just teaching them different things because that's what they need. Whether it be that or, you know, marrying a single mom and being a father figure to her children, if her children are fatherless, being a, a, a positive male father figure in her children's life. And she cite the this, the fact that they discourage that is a problem. That men have a tendency to discourage that because it the the cycle of young black males growing up without fathers is a direct correlation between no fathers in the home and a lot of things that's going on in the black community. Single mothers are blamed for a lot of those things. But at the end of the day, it's because a lot of times those things are happening because there is no positive male role models or father figures in these young boys' life to teach them. Because at the end of the day, a woman can't teach a boy how to be a man. I don't care what nobody say. A woman cannot teach a boy how to be a man. It, it takes a man to a man needs to teach a boy how to be a man. One day, a boy, a little that little boy, is going to grow up to be a man, and it takes a man to teach a boy how to be a man. So, whether it be someone in the community, a family member, or step parent, to take a vested interest in that in the in these young men, to help them, to show them the way, to show them the proper way to go, to show them that you don't pick up a gun because you get mad at somebody you don't go out there and pick up a gun and just talk to them about different things and um, teach them how to respect women and um, teach them the work ethic it is very important for young males to learn a strong work ethic like teaching them that when you want something or you want to provide for your family you go out and you work or you 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 earn the money Legally, you don't go out and rob and kill and steal to get the money, but you go out and you go about it the right way. And if they're godly men, if they're godly men, then they're teaching the young men godly, giving them godly principles and standards and things like that. We need more of that in the black community. So when you discourage men from being single, uh, uh, I mean, excuse me, when you discourage men from being stepdads, you're you're dis, you're discouraging um, them from possibly being a positive male role model in these young boys' lives, which they need. So it takes a special kind of man to be a stepdad. I know not every man is cut out to be a stepdad. I get it, but it takes a special kind of man. To not only love that woman and embrace that woman, but love her children. And it does take a special kind of man to be that. It takes a godly man with a godly heart. And those kind of men, unfortunately, are rare. But 
though more of those men are needed in the community lighten the load for the mothers give that mother some love and support be a, a good male head in that family and help the woman with the young boys and young children it takes a special kind of man to do that and that is a good thing that is a good thing when a man can do that when I, I've heard so many stories of uh, men men having stepfathers and I think Boyce Watkins himself had a stepfather and he said he had a great stepdad I've heard other stories where um, young men they black men or black men had their biological the biological father wasn't there but their stepdad was there and that stepdad had a, a very positive influence on them a very positive influence in their life and it taught them taught them how to be a man so being a stepdad is a good thing it's not a bad thing and the fact that they're sending these messages out there to particularly to our young men because when they when they put these negative messages out messages out there then our young men are listening to these things and they put in these negative messages of course now I get it some men want to have their own family I get that and I understand that and that's okay but then they're even telling but this is what gets me they're even telling these men out here that uh, that have these black men that have kids themselves not to marry a single mother seriously seriously they have kids themselves they're saying if you have kids yourself you still shouldn't be marrying a single mother wow yes so I think if a man has children what is wrong with him marrying a single mom and, and then it could be a blended family type situation but that's 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 how much uh, that they're, they're talking against it. They're telling them, they're even telling the black men that have children themselves, that are single fathers themselves, not to marry single mothers. And then he passed this, these messages off to the young men. It's just, it's just, it's just a perpetuating cycle of all the, you know, stuff that's going on in the black community. These young black males don't have positive male role models, and they need that. So it's a good thing. Being a stepdad is not a bad thing. It can, it can really be a wonderful thing. I really have heard a lot of good success stories of single fathers coming into some of these men's life and, and making all the difference in the world for them. And it, sh and it, and it made them the man that they are. They made them, they, they taught them good values and, you know, taught them how to be a man. They taught them things that their biological father was not there to teach them. So being a stepdad is a good thing, and there's nothing wrong with it. And they need to quit spewing that hatred out. And all this bashing of single mothers and stuff like that. They need to quit putting that stuff out in the universe to these young boys. That it's okay to, to do all this. Because at the end of the day, a single mother didn't become that way by herself. Somebody helped her get that way. You know, she didn't get that way by herself. <laughs> so somebody helped her become a single mother. So um, it's just, it sends a horrible message. I think when that lady made that point, that was an excellent point. It sends a terrible message in that because our young black males, they need that. They need those positive male role models, whether it be a stepdad or, or mentors, um, in the black community this is what they need this is what they're lacking you know and that's why all these things are happening it's not because of them it's not because of what the mothers are doing or not doing a lot of in most cases the mothers are doing the best they can it's because they don't have that positive male role model they don't have these positive male role models in their life to show them show them the way and so saying that men shouldn't marry single mothers, okay, well, it, 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 it's, it's, and, and this acting like it's such a horrible thing, 
it's it just it could continue the, the cycle is going to continue these boys not having any young black males not having any guidance and so there is nothing wrong with being a stepdad don't believe the hype being a stepdad is perfectly fine and I think Boyce has a lovely wife she's a very educated woman she's a beautiful woman and the fact that men are bashing him for marrying her speaks volumes I think when you have to sit up and talk about somebody and bash somebody, put somebody down on a consistent basis, you are not, it's more of, a, more of a reflection of you than it is of them. You're not happy with yourself. You're not happy with your own life when you have to constantly and consistently bash someone else, particularly someone you don't even know. But I, I don't see anything wrong with him. Marrying a single mother. I don't see anything wrong with anybody else marrying a single mother. Uh, there's a lot of single mothers out here that are good women. A um, lot of good qualities. And it depends on the situation. Everybody's situation is different. You know. So hit me up in the comment section. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you think about that. What your thoughts are on men. If you come in my comment section, you be nice. Be nice. Because, I'm, I, you know what? I'm not afraid to block. I'm not afraid to block. So, if you're going to share your opinion on here, no bashing. You don't want to marry a single mother, okay, well, that's fine. But there's no reason to bash. So, comment in my comment section, you need to be nice and be respectful. You can share your opinions and still be respectful and not bash. You just have to have enough intelligence to do that. Okay, hit that subscribe button. The like button and the share button. And until the next video, peace and love. This is Sweet Jim.